have some muesli, muesli, how say it wrong, muesli for breakfast. So in the muesli we have oats and mango, like little dried mangoes, coconut flakes, and pumpkin seeds, sliced almonds, sunflower seeds, macadamia nuts, little strawberries, and quinoa flour crisps. What are you going to have for breakfast? <laughs> Okay, mama's milk, huh? She'll try something too. got some things planted in these boxes. I didn't realize how much work it takes like to fill up the boxes with dirt like you know like four truckloads later <laughs> just to fill up these big boxes I and mean, we didn't even fill them up to the very top. So yeah I'm learning a lot as I go. I would planted some of those tomato plants already started just because I'm nervous about if these little seedlings will start because I was a little late getting them going. And then back here I planted a little little green a little raspberry bush I'm not sure what's gonna happen with that but I have a lot of childhood memories with raspberry bushes so I thought I would give it a try and see this box doesn't have anything in it yet because we're having some water pipe issues going on um, so that one's on hold and that was gonna be my lettuce box so hopefully we can get that one going and then this box <laughs> we finally got some dirt in it but as you can see, there's like little footprints in there and little stuff, little things dug up. Because this little cute dog over here likes to get in it and play. And so, good thing I haven't planted anything yet. Um, because she would have ruined everything I'd started. But I do want to plant my herbs in there, but I haven't started them yet. So, I have to figure out a way maybe to like put some fence around it to keep out the dogs and the babies. Because Giselle over here likes to play in the dirt and she tries to eat it or she likes to throw it out. <laughs> so <laughs> that is our dilemma with the garden. It's lunch time and I'm going to have some banana and ice cream. I just whipped up some frozen bananas in the little food processor with some vanilla and some PB2 powder, some peanut butter powder. So we're going to get that all dished up and some toppings on. <laughs> Piper. So, anyway, these coconut bowls are so cute and, I, and they're like eco friendly because I guess, like, all usually like the coconut shells husk, they just like burn them and throw them mm. away. So, it just goes to waste. Anyway, hmm. so they're cute and they're eco friendly. Wait, so do I'm you throw them away them. when you're done? No, you, you can reuse this. Here's my neighbor. You guys can come say hi if you see a little screen. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and you do have to take care of it. The only downside is like you're not supposed to have really hot food in it because it can crack it. And you have to hand wash them like you can't put them in the dishwasher. But yeah, so these are like perfect for banana ice cream, like just the right amount. So 
I mean, Maze. Major. Because you guys have M names. I know your name's Major. <laughs> All those people. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Oh. Major. Oh. Major. I, I, I'm scary. <laughs> Something happened to Sharon. Something happened to Sharon? And she never passed the phone and I know she's there. You know, what's their names? This is Champagne. I don't know who's this. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's cute. It's a girl. Oh, oh. she. Sorry. She's, she's really yeah. cute. <laughs> She's like you. She's a cute doggy. She wants you. Should I pet her? Yeah. Okay, I'll come pet her. Careful, she bites though, right? Oh, she does bite. She's not real. There's a fat <laughs> oh. oh, you could have had us fooled. Do you do it again, Scooby-Doo? Okay. Ah. Ah. Yours. Sorry. Yours? My mine. baby. Yours? My baby. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you think she looks like me? Yeah. <laughs> She's pretty cute. <laughs> Would you like some visitors today? Oh, hi. Uh -huh. <laughs> say, I'm beautiful. Yeah, she doesn't want to say that one. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Giselle? Oh, what do you want? Want a banana? Okay, my current obsession for salads is sure like it's a huge salad and, and trust me you'll feel so good the next day when you go to the bathroom. <laughs> it's amazing. And then for the dressing, I'm going to do half an avocado. This is the current obsession I'm talking about. And then I have a tablespoon of real maple syrup. And then take um just a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, real or regular mustard works too. A teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. And when you put that all in, I'm gonna have to scrape it out. So I went ahead and blended it and put it in the middle right there, but it's so good. Like I licked the container, like licked this out. It's so good. Got it from Ellen Fisher's ebook. And you can do it without the avo. You can do just those two ingredients together and it's really good. It sounds gross, but it's kind of like, like a honey mustard flavor. Like, watching our what I eat in a day hopefully you enjoyed it and <laughs> hopefully I can get this little baby to go to sleep over here she's did you have fun visiting all the old people Giselle we still have fun did you she's like a therapy baby instead of like a therapy dog at the rest home it's pretty funny whoa we usually do it just once a month with my dance team then we go visit the elderly <laughs> we just go say hi to them because we know they get bored and lonely so um hope you guys all have a good night and thanks for watching see you on the next video